Tonight, bullets meant for officers intercepted by shields and vests. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has more now on the dramatic scene that played out between police and a wanted suspect on the Lower East Side. Chaos in the middle of Eldridge Street. I saw the cops come. Dozens of officers surrounding this Lower East Side apartment building as an armed man barricaded himself inside. That I seen a man screaming out the window with a gun. That was enough for Diana Aldejando to take cover. When we heard gun, everybody ran. It started Thursday morning when officers arrived to a second floor apartment looking for Kent Edwards. They say they found him armed and barricaded in the bathroom. Officers began to talk to him, and various technologies were used, including a drone that Edwards swatted with a broom, breaking it, and then a robot with a camera known as an avatar. The officers used the avatar, they followed behind our avatar, they had their bunkers up, our shields, and as they went in, the male exited the bathroom and fired what we believe four shots. Police say four shots hit shields and one officer's tactical vest as officers fired back. The lead officer who fired also took the bunker, the shield, and was able to use it to knock the male down and pin him down while other members were able to put him in handcuffs. Edwards fatally wounded. I saw when they were trying to resuscitate him. And then they took him away. Detectives say Edwards had 11 prior arrests for rape and strangulation, and just two months ago, he was accused of a shooting on the Upper East Side. That October shooting is what police wanted to question Edwards about when things turned dangerous. You have three bullets into the bunkers, of uh, three bullets inside of bunkers, which could have easily been three bullets inside our officers. Police say all the officers involved in this operation were taken to the hospital. Thankfully, no one hurt. On the Lower East Side, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.